Twist of Loves. So this is the second part to my Traverse City travel video. So in this one, which was my last day um, in Traverse City, I get some good food, like some, uh, I know, like I'm, I'm a picky, I don't like to say picky, I'm a selective eater. <laughs> so I got some really good brick oven uh, cheese bread. And then I also went to the lighthouse and the asylum that I have been talking about. So you're going to see that in this video. It was amazing. I know I said that a lot in my videos, but, <laughs> but it really was y'all. Like it was such a good time. Um, so definitely check it out. Like if you are in Michigan or if you ever plan on visiting Michigan, like definitely, definitely check it out. Like for sure. So without further ado, drum roll, please. Here you go. Here's the rest of my trip. Part two, part two, part two, part two. My loves. stomach is growling so we're going to venture down to front street and get some vittles and see what we can get into on our last night here so stay tuned see what we about to find So this place is called the Little Fleet. It is a outdoor little place like where they had multiple food trucks. It is so cute, y'all. They had so many different places to eat, um, places to grab some drinks, some adult beverages. Uh, you can sit and eat, drink. They had music going there was a fire pit uh lots and lots of good food uh you can sit and people watch i love to people watch um <laughs> but it was a really really nice place um that place right there toward the back was like a bar uh, where you could go and get some drinks I decided to go ahead and get the uh, cheese bread, which was really, really good. Um, 10 out of 10 for sure. I then walked down uh, a little ways and explored. There's their state theater, uh, which was really nice. And then this cute little... Um, ice cream shop which I thought was so adorable all right so this is the end of day three I just got back from uh east uh front front street <laughs> um downtown Traverse City just walking around got something to eat um at Little Fleet I think was the name of it it's like a little area like where they have um different types of food trucks and drinks and stuff excuse me and then i um walked up and down first street and uh went on a little scenic drive and uh came back home so today was a cool day i just laid on the beach all day got some sun got a little tan <laughs> um just relaxed like that's just really just what i wanted to do and then um, tomorrow we're going to do 
the tour of the asylum. Um, I'm gonna try to get to the lighthouse before I leave Traverse City, and then I'm gonna shoot over to Sleeping Bear Dunes. Hopefully, I feel up to it. But your girl is pretty tired, so uh, it's 10:19. I'm getting ready to watch me some oxygen. I believe Dateline is on, and uh, <laughs> I'm just resting and enjoying my vacation. I see y'all tomorrow. All right, this is it. Last day. I don't wanna leave, but I gotta go right now. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Bye, bay water, beach front. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Until next time. Alright, great morning. It is day four. We're leaving today, but before we leave, we're gonna see some sights. First up is the old mission lighthouse on the very tip of the uh peninsula. Um so yeah. Stay tuned. So one thing I did enjoy on this trip was the scenery. Lots of just greenery, water. It was pretty amazing. So around the lighthouse, there was a lot of wooded areas. So closed toe shoes, definitely <laughs> uh, recommended for sure. Uh, the log house cabin. Um, there was, again, lots of wooded areas. It was really nice though, y'all. Um, so again, definitely wear closed toe shoes. So this was an original log house that was moved here on site. And it had all of the original furniture the original bed um the original tables like all of the original furniture still inside of it all of the original logs some were restored but everything inside of it was original the original dishware china um and then what was really cool the original um, thing to churn butter, which I thought was, was pretty cool. So now we're coming up onto the lighthouse, the old mission lighthouse, um, which I didn't get to do the tour because I did have to be at Traverse City Commons, which was the asylum that you'll see here right after this in the video but I plan to go back to do the tour but the lighthouse uh is what you're seeing here so the pretty cool part about this is the beach that you see here depending on the rain that we get in Michigan the water recedes sometimes the beach is covered totally in water and then sometimes the sh so the shoreline changes basically depending on the amount of rainfall that we get each year in Michigan which I thought was pretty freaking amazing so this is the front part of the lighthouse let's go take a look inside So the first thing was this old timey vacuum. <laughs> then there was this chest that was pretty cool. Um, then this owl, which was a baby owl, and it was so big, y'all. And then there was this chefferol, busting up the chefferol. So we had to hurry up and hop in beauty. Beauty is my car, and head over to the asylum for our tour. Oh my god. 
goodness. This is creepy. I got the creeps already. So the buildings you see here used to be where the patients lived. They have now been transformed into uh, shopping, dining, all amazing things like that. Uh, but back in the day, as recent as the 1980s, um, this is where the patients would live, both men and women, depending on the building. Um, and the uh, the mental hospital. So all of these buildings were a part of the mental hospital. Definitely take the tour if you're in Traverse City. All right, so we are in the mental hospital, the asylum. We are getting ready to take the tour. Why do I always say we and it's just me? I'm getting ready to take the tour. Um, yeah. This place gave me the creeps driving in, so it should be fine. <laughs> After this building, this building, this is the Northern Michigan Asylum. It opened up in 1885. It was built for 500 patients, men and women, no children. Anybody living in Grand Rapids, North. So within two years, we had more. We went from 500 to our peak at 3,600 patients. <laughs> So they had to come up with additional housing. They couldn't just stand people in here like cordwood. So <laughs> this is a uh, historical renovation site. This whole building is completely redone, and people live above us. Regular, normal people. Let's clarify that. And so I can't just knock on one of the apartment doors and say, excuse me, I've got 27 of my dearest friends. <laughs> I really want to see how these patients live. So... Um, I'm going to take you to the unrenovated men's cottage. It was built in 1887. It's been abandoned since the late 60s. Mm -hmm. It'll give you an idea of how the patients were housed, okay? Oh, and then we're going to come back to the campus and see that picture at the end of the hallway here? That is the 1883 steam tunnel that I'm going to take you into. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we always get to the end because that's like the big, you know, <laughs> finish. Anyway, um, it's the size of this hallway, okay? So yes, it's a tunnel, but it's, it's huge. It was built to accommodate six huge pipes uh, of steam to heat this whole building. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. And then you have these heavy corbels, those brackets that uh, support the cornices. And look at the molding. The molding on the spires and on those corner windows. Very ornate, isn't it? This is the only asylum that Gordon Lloyd ever did. He mostly did churches and cathedrals. Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> they wanted these places to look like mansions. They wanted these people to feel like they're living in a very special place, no longer victimized or picked on anymore. And it was set up like a family. Dr. Munson. And so this is inside of the men's ward. We got to explore on our own for 20 minutes. It was pretty awesome so this building is one of the buildings that has not been converted uh, we got to walk around take pictures take video this is the dining room currently that I'm standing in so this is where they would have eaten uh, dinner um, I walked around looked at some of the patient rooms uh, this would have been the bathroom here that I'm peeking into right here. One of the bathrooms. Um, I got to see pretty much the whole building. I do believe that there was maybe three or four floors. So I got to go up and down the stairs. Kind of explore on my own. Um, the tour guide, she stayed behind near the front door and really just kind of let us do our own thing and walk around and I really truly got to see how these people lived and see um you know all of the different rooms and how big they were and the different uh sizes and all of the different things that they had and you know if we had questions we were able to ask and 
see uh, the the chicken wire that they had on the windows and even the chicken wire on the balconies that prevented people from jumping um, to their deaths. Um, you know, for those that may have been suicidal or depressed or, or things like that. So it was a really, really amazing tour. Um, I definitely recommend it. They do also have a Twilight tour. I am not like a paid spokesperson <laughs> or anything like that, but um, it was definitely amazing. Um, and then here's the balcony. Uh, we weren't able to go on on the balcony because it was unstable, but this is what the balcony looked like. So, yeah, definitely interesting, friends. Check it out. Check it out if you if you can, if you're in Traverse City, for sure. So this is the outside of the men's cottages. Da, 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 da. Let the fun and games begin. We are now underground in the steam tunnels. I believe she said we were 16 feet underground. I don't remember how far underground she said, but... Yes, we are now in that big old steam tunnel. It was so awesome, y'all. You can go to the left a little bit. Lots of people do because they can see the tunnel right away. We're actually leaving from the right. Okay, so come on now. All right, so here we go. We are in the tunnel officially. And at one point, y'all, she turned out all of the lights and it was pitch black. And... I got some really, really good pictures. And I also got a dope keychain with a picture of the tunnel on there. Y'all, it was so dope. After all that excitement, I was starving. All right, last but not least, I went back to East Front Street to get something to eat for the flying noodle. The food was okay. I'll give this a 6 out of 10, but the service was top-notch, 10 out of 10. I hope that you had as much fun watching the video. I apologize for the orientation. I honestly, when I was recording it, did not plan on making this a YouTube video, but I had so much fun. I wanted to share it and show off like the different things that Michigan has to offer. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed watching this video um, as much as I enjoy doing the things that you saw in the video, it was such a good time. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye y'all.